MVP last year. Yeah, I don't know the story behind that stuff. Well, what's the story behind that picture up there of you well, that sitting? Picture is a picture of, of Oma. Right. My father made that an artist that your fa her father had commissioned to make. Uh huh. And it was a, a college uh, professor, an artist. Can you, you need light. Don't yeah, you? I need some light. What year was that? Do you remember? 1875. <laughs> oh. Uh-uh. Must have been 1933. Three, probably. 33? Were you older than three? Within two years? Yeah. And is that really you, or is that somebody that else's... Me. That's not somebody else's body? No, don't, don't take me today. Oh. Well, all right, I'll just take what you're saying. But that, of course, that pool isn't real. 1935. And all these pictures here, yeah. on the wall, they're all by Zandu Lieberman. Zandu. No, that's not true. Yes, that is. These here? All oh, those. And I guess he was a famous... Uh, yeah, he died a few years ago. Zomber Lieberman? Zandu Lieberman. Lons and where's he from? Israel or...? I don't know. And where'd you get him? Except for this last one. I don't think the last one is a Lieberman. And where did also you work under a different name, which I don't remember? Where did you buy them? Do you remember? At the uh, synagogue auctions. In uh, Washington or uh -huh. Maryland? Uh huh. What was the name of the artist that made that picture for us? With the uh, oh. This I want to show you another picture. All right, I'll follow this you. One here, it's also Lieberman. She's under Lieberman. If you don't know uh, the name, Ralph. Um, uh, Ratner. Ratner was his name. Ratner. On hmm. this guy here. This uh -huh. guy here. This came from my other synagogue. And every picture, it's a it's a um, lithograph, but every picture is um, hand colored. Oh. And it's a uh, artist lives in Washington, Philip Ratner, hmm. who by now is famous, and that's Abraham and the Angels. But oh. so we got a. There's no other one like that with mm -hmm. these colors. Hmm. Wow. We we'll have to look him up on the internet. Yeah. Uh, what somebody. is the name on that? I don't. That, I don't think that's a Lieberman. Lieberman also worked under another name, and I can't think of his name. My point is, when you guys go to sell this stuff, don't just put it... I don't know if we're going to sell it, but keep it. Can you see what the name says? It says, uh, Frank P-A-L Paleo. Oh, so that's somebody else. That's not the guy, but let me give you his other name. I'll take some actual photographs. These pictures are wrong. Uh-huh. They're also by the same artist. Uh, what's his name here? That's M. Maurice. What was his other name? P. Maurice. Uh, Maurice. And the Maurice. Oh yeah. Maurice mm -hmm. was his, but uh, he under he painted under that name too. Mm. See, this, this, this is Sandra Lieberman. Oh, okay. That's another one. Yeah. Let me go over here where the light, I'm not getting a glare. Okay, and then this um, menorah here, this was given to you, right, by Oma? This was given by Oma for my 60th birthday. Oh, isn't that nice? Wow. This come and from this Israel? Right here, this is a. Well, let me go over and get that uh, this one. This guy is famous now. His name is Bijan. This sculpture. Mm. But I have to start watching football. Oh, look, these. Uh, but here, this is another Maurice. And that's the same guy. Okay. The Lieberman. Okay. But this here is worth a lot of money now. Okay? These birds? Yeah, because... Um, oh. I always liked this one. Yeah, I do too. But this guy here, that's why I kept his Bichon. 
and this is at least 30 years old and it is worth a lot of money now mm. I mean just don't be sure not to give it away you know no, I like me, that get an artist uh, somebody who knows this stuff I'll show mm. you one other thing okay Okay, this picture, this is a Rockwell, okay? A Norman Rockwell? Norman Rockwell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this here picture, uh, you won't be able to see much. Uh, that must be at least uh, 100 years old. Wow. And uh, that belonged to my parents or my grandparents in Germany some German artist, and I was never able to find out anything about him. Huh. I'll have to take an actual picture of that. Now, who are all... Ten years old. Now, these, who are these people? These are... Uh, these are all Oma's family. Did it work? Is that her grandfather or her father? Probably her father. And this is her mother. And this is Oma, and this is Hannah. Oh. And this is her grandparents' 25th anniversary. This is a whole family in 1911. I think this is her mother. This is... Mm. Mm. Okay. This is something Oma made. Yeah, as far as the, this. Uh huh. Yeah. Um. Go. These are all she made. All yeah, those. I want to do all those too. Okay. Any other? What did you try yesterday for somebody? I left your message when? on the machine. Not yesterday. Mm -hmm. All right, anything else? This here, oh, this here Oma has to do with you. Yeah, okay. Because the, the, there's some valuable stuff, there's some valuable pewter. Mm -hmm. Like this vase up there, the red, this is from yeah. Czechoslovakia, this is valuable. Wow. Some of it is garbage, the pewter in there is very valuable. Uh huh. And uh, if, you, if you can do that, if you could do that, if your house is big enough, to take the whole thing with everything in there. What are you talking about? The, the china closet. Closet? Right. The and only then, thing I know is the plates of my grandmother. And the pewter is expensive. And if Danny wants something, you can, but otherwise, some of it is, is, is just garbage we collected on trips. You'll uh -huh. see what it is. You can pitch that. I'll give it, maybe the boys want something, you know, maybe by But the time. how do we know what's worth stuff? We have to get somebody That's, to tell us. You have us. to talk to Oma. But it's also a sentimental value. Right. Well, I mean, I, some good. things I want to keep. I know I'm not going to sell a bunch of stuff. Right. I want to keep things. Well, I can tell you what is my grand, my parents. Well, so go tell Rob. Tell him, Rob. So he knows. Is there a light on? Is there a light in this thing? Uh, yes, there is a light in this thing. You have to open it up. I don't know where the light is. And th th open it up, see if it's... Okay. Oh, I see, it's at the top. Are you sure that touch cake I bought it? Is there another one? That's no. All. Okay, if you want to talk. The top is all for my parents. Those are expensive glasses, the blue and red. Yeah. They are Czechoslovakian glass. Wow. Czechoslovakian glass. Then the whole thing's crisp. You ever make turkey fried, Dad? You don't like it? What you give us? These were your parents. Except this, these things. Like white and dark. Yeah, I didn't love me. They were not. These are stuff I collected. Mm. Um, and so yeah, uh, we, we don't care for it. The we corners. Like mm -hmm. We tried everything. 
The turkey fry is not natural. I know it's. it's the okay. cups it's were my father's. He up. always brought a um, thing home for my mother when he came back from the trip. And then what did your father do for a living? My father was a. Uh, I, I bet you that he was an engineer for. He was self employed. Before he cooked for Thanksgiving. Okay. The beef fries you said the pewter, I mean the pewter is. The pewter is my grandparents, they got as an anniversary present. Oh. The 3,000 block. The 3,000 block. The 4,000 block. The 4,000 block. The 4,000 block. The 4,000 block. Anything. And the rest of the stuff is just stuff that we brought back from Israel, or Naomi brought back from Israel. Okay. All right. And this stuff my uh, parents got from Europe. Somebody sent them because my father sent them medicine after oh. the war. So they sent us the. Oh, that's nice. Definitely the pictures, Naomi. Mm -hmm. uh, all the pictures, especially the Liebermans, are worth a lot of money. And he, Lieberman painted under another. And he said this was. Maurice. Like these two pictures there. And that so is for some um, Maurice. Yeah. Opa. Uh, Ralph got, got that uh, thing for be president. On the this? Well, we're never going to get rid of Oh, this. Obama. For being president. Yeah, he got that as a president. In uh, Maryland? No, in... No, here. Oh, here. Here. Oh. And oh my got that tea set for being president in Maryland. Oh, the silver one? Yeah. Wow. But don't yeah. take a picture, it's not polished. Oops. It's not polished. We don't care. Just for us. Yeah, there was some game yesterday. A lot of people. Oh, that's a nice tea set. Like, yeah, I I got worried and for a second. Well, I was worried for a second. Oh yeah. Minutes. But we didn't look good. Our defense. I was outside. I could hear the cheering and then I John told us they we won. I didn't jump for joy. I don't think you can get that. Yeah. I was very surprised. Well, I was thinking that that. Got hurt and Anything else you want to say, Mom? You did? No. Okay. That cuckoo clock we brought in Switzerland in 1972. Mm. We had a list of what's in the I don't know. We had a list. You're the one who goes in there. I haven't been in there for years. You better check it out. Make sure you know yeah. what you is. So you just had eggs. You didn't really we do it for the roost. They shipped them by mail or whatever. Uh -huh. They came in boxes and we put them in the ovens. Yeah. What happened? I wonder. Um, oh. Why did the, the lights went out. Is it on timer? No, the lights were not. I thought it was just. Oh, uh, maybe the sun. Right. Wait, wait. Oh, the sun. It didn't count. The... And no, no there's a penalty. It takes about uh, six, six uh, sixteen weeks. I don't know what to tell Eva. What they I call that? that? Somebody's like somebody. Why was it called back? But they said that when a chicken uh, has an egg, was, like something turns, so the egg when the egg comes out, so none of the other stuff will get into the egg. The poop? Yeah, the poop. Well, but yeah, the poop doesn't come out. The egg comes out clean, but sometimes yeah. they poop into their nests. Yeah. So we used to go at night when it was, and we good? collected eggs twice a day, in the morning and the evening, and then you close. The, you know, they have perches on their nest Hello. so they uh -huh. can go into their nest. And Hello? before the sun goes down, you close those hey. nests so they can't go in there. Oh. One of the, they have roosting posts. It should be uh -huh. over they now. Roost, they, because they don't want, they want them to mess up the nest. Yeah, they it should be over. Eggs. You want to go like, uh, what time and they're all one? sleeping, you go you quietly like, and you open all the nests. Like two? So when the sun goes up in the morning, they can or go two, into their nest and lay their eggs. Oh, they do it in the morning. All right. And Oma and I used to go. Okay, I'll you be there too. Take your rifle and you shoot the rats. So I have your dogs with you. Oh, did you do that, Mom? Uh, she went shoot with the him. rats. I went with him when he shot. I, I let her shoot. He's standing back of me. I always walked with my 22. Oh. 
because we have you can't keep rats from coming in. And we yeah. had two good dogs, terriers, that went after them. But you'll have rats and then we chew them. Then you would have to pick up the dead rats? Two little beady oh, eyes in the dark. Beady eyes. Oh. Mm. I always used to use, uh, you know, uh, uh, scatter pellets. Red pellets? Scatter pellets. What, well, I mean, you mean poison pellets? No, 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 no. Oh, in the gun. Oh. And then what'd you do with the rat? I guess you'd have to throw them away. Well, then I had to, yeah, them. We had a big pit with a, a lid that you mm -hmm. put the only dead animals in, and they decom decompose. I, I remember that in the uh, movies, you were uh, taking chickens. Right. Ow. It's like a cesspool, but it's for dead animals. Uh huh. Now. But we usually took the rats and sold them to the Chinese restaurant. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Rob, I wonder if you should wear Velcro shoes. No. Because <laughs> your tongues are like over to the side and your laces yeah. are to the other side. Uh -huh. Why Something. did they call back the touch? I don't know. Yeah, it was a good life on the farm, except you had to be there 24 hours a day. You could never go away. One of us always had to be there. It's like the store. So you lived on exactly. the farm. Did you live on the farm? Yeah. And who was with it? You and Jerry? No, my parents lived with. Oh, your parents had and, the farm. And, and Jerry Uncle Harold and I. I know, but I thought. Uncle Harold and, and I. Jackie. Mm. And Jackie, when she went to school, but Jackie never worked on the farm. She always had excuses. Mm. And then two or three times a week, we took the eggs to the egg auction, and we spent hours in the basement cleaning eggs. Oma knows about that. That's when we used to listen to Jack Benny and Fred Allen. Time mm -hmm. went so fast. Now they have machines for everything. Mm -hmm. I was simpler back then. Mm. And then we had we bought an egg cleaning machine, and then then you had to grade the eggs, you know, large, medium. Right. And you had to scan them. I mean, you had to uh, weigh the them. Players would get well, them all weigh weekend. them. Candle them. You had to candle. We had little scales. But what's you a candle? You put a candle to see. Candle to look for egg spots, for egg blood, for blood spots. In the thing, you look at you, you, you put the egg on the, in front of the light, you, like to cook, you, you know, and the, the shell of an egg is kind of porous, right. so you could see wow. the blood charge. I should do that. I should. And then you had cracks, the cracks you sold to the bakeries. Oh, there's a crack on the shell. Now, did you have to put them in cold uh, temperatures? Yeah, well, we did. We had a basement. Oh, that was okay. Is that Santana Moss? What made you to get into the egg farm yeah. business? Your dad? Well, they did, yeah. When, when Uncle Harold first came over here in 1949, uh, he went and worked for a chicken farm, and they decided they were going to buy a chicken farm. No. We had family here. Uh -huh. We were going to stake us to it. We could have had a gas station like some people I know. Or, so they decided to go and... So Harold worked on the chicken farm for a few months. Mm -hmm. And then when my parents came, we got those people gave us some money. We bought the chicken farm. I mean, the down payment. Mm -hmm. And then he taught my parents and I came out of the service and helped them. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I wanted to stay in the service. I liked it. What's those colon health pills? Do they what? How long did you have the egg business? Oh, that's for me. Probiotics? I, uh, well, I left the egg business. Well, I, we bought a rundown farm. Mm -hmm. and, and Harold and I, you know, fixed it up. I mm -hmm. mean, we didn't know from nothing. You know, right. We did everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I came yeah. out of the service in 49. And then by, by about 51, we had uh, we had it all fixed up, so there wasn't enough work for both of us. You know, just collecting eggs on. So I found myself little jobs. So I left pretty much in 51. I only had it for a couple of years. But Harold stayed, and my parents stayed for for maybe another five years. Maybe they had it for 10 years. Mm -hmm. What did your other brother do? Well, he never came. He was, oh, he always stayed in Israel. He was in Israel. Oh. And they, oh. Meet, they Jackie went to Violin High School. Uh huh. The, just about uh, the same time Ruth went. No, 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 no. She hmm. after Ruth. Hmm. And how'd you meet uh, Mom?
Goodbye. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Appreciate it. I was in Philadelphia, mm -hmm. and I found this drunk lady in the in the garden. Take tools down. Uh huh. She was drunk in the garden, oh, and she was good looking, and I kind of felt sorry for her. So I took her home, I cleaned her up, and so on. I taught her, and then I married her. Mm. You no, know, you had too much had, invested in her, right? I have a lot invested. In her. <laughs> First time I met her, she just graduated high school, mm -hmm. and I didn't care for her that much. And then that was 1949, and then two years late, in 1952, and I knew her sister well, and her sister made a 21st birthday party for her, mm -hmm. a surprise party. And she came, she had another friend, his name was Al Rothschild. Hello. And so Al told Ruth, you know, you want to go out, you know, uh -huh. and then he took her out, and then he came to, to Hannah's house for the party, he surprised her, and so then I kind of liked her, and then I called uh, Hannah the next day, I said, can, I, can yeah. I ask your sister for a date, do you think it'd be all right? She said, sure. She gave me the number, and then the rest is history. Oh. Where do you want me to put the tools? Oh.